devaluation is initiated by the country which is in trade deficit over a period of time so devaluation is intended to reduce the trade deficit by increasing the export and reducing the import the export will be increased normally as export price will come down uh, due to devaluation so export will increase normally similarly the import is uh, supposed to uh, reduce as import price will increase uh, after devaluation as more uh, money has to be pay uh, paid after devaluation as the currency's value has uh, deliberately declined in terms of foreign currency so import will also fall as import price increases so this is the general effect or desirable result of devaluation and here we have here here we have the j curve effect the phenomenon related to the effect of devaluation on the trade balance of the country let's look the j curve effect states the result of devaluation the devaluation is uh, declared uh, with the intention of uh, improving the trade balance by increasing the export and reducing the import so, so this is the uh, desirable result of devaluation uh, and this is in fact not an approach uh, unlike the elasticity approach and uh, absorption approach as the j curve effect uh, does not set any rule for the success of devaluation as the j as absorption approach and elasticity approach did absorption approach and elasticity approach of devaluation uh, have uh, set some rules for the success of devaluation and this is not like that this is just a phenomenon uh, which states the effect of devaluation on the trade balance of the country in the short period of time that is j curve effect and let us uh, have a clear look on what is j curve effect this is the effect of devaluation on trade balance more clearly specifically uh, j curve effect uh, is the effect is the short term effect or immediate effect of devaluation on the trade balance of the of the devaluing country so devaluation as i said is adopted uh, during the def trade deficit Uh, so a country having surplus trade surplus uh, will never follow devaluation so devaluation is adopted only during trade deficit and this is to reduce the deficit by increasing the export and reducing the uh, import uh, and so as per the j curve effect devaluation will initially immediately Uh, deteriorate the trade balance or or worsens the trade balance later on the trade balance will be improved due to devaluation so devaluation uh, will produce an undesirable result in the short term and uh, it will produce a desirable result in the long period of time so to speak immediately after devaluation the tr the trade deficit will further worsen the trade deficit will uh, be will be widened uh, after devaluation um, and later on uh, after a short period of time the trade balance is believed to be improved due to devaluation let's look uh, with some uh, diagrams so you can see uh, the uh, trade uh, here in this uh, diagram Uh, the trade balance is measured along the vertical axis and above uh, in the above segment of the diagram and the trade balance is positive that means there is surplus you can see and uh, uh, under uh, in, the, in the below part of the diagram you can see uh, the negative sign it refers to the trade deficit of the country and time period is measured along the horizontal axis and you can see a di a curve which, which takes the shape of a j that is why the effect of devaluation is called j curve effect so this is in fact a combination of short term impact on trade balance and long term impact on trade balance of devaluation so uh, 
by combining the two short term and long term impact short term and long term effects we can form a j we can we can identify a j curve effect of devaluation so as you can see on the diagram uh, when the nation is uh, uh, suffering from trade deficit uh, devaluation is declared then the trade deficit uh, will further worsen trade deficit will further widen trade deficit will increase further immediately after devaluation uh, or in the or in the uh, short period of time the devaluation will uh, uh, worsens the trade balance as it is more uh, clear in this diagram as you can see devaluation is declared when the nation is having some deficit that is below uh, zero and when devaluation is uh, declared as the time passes through in the short period of time uh, the time period is measured along the horizontal axis one two three four uh, to eight are the uh, quarters uh, first quarter second quarter third quarter and eighth quarter after declaring devaluation so uh in the first few quarters the devaluation is supposed to widen the trade uh, deficit the trade deficit will uh, still increase Im immediately after devaluation or in the short period of uh, after devaluation trade deficit will still on increasing so what this this is a kind of phenomena phenomenon in the short period of time after declaring devaluation but after a long period of time devaluation is supposed to Im to improve the trade balance as the trade balance is improving deficit is coming down from the third quarter onwards and when uh, in the sixth quarter uh, at the sixth quarter uh, onwards from sixth quarter onwards the devaluation has brought trade surplus for the devaluing country as you can see in the diagram uh, remind you this is just an example to show the effect of devaluation on the trade balance of the uh, trade balance of the devaluing country in the short period of time and long period of time and so why devaluation initially worsens trade balance so devaluation is uh, in fact adopted to improve the trade balance and during the deficit period the demand for foreign exchange is excess so there is excess demand for foreign exchange during the deficit period that means the domestic price of import will will uh, hike after devaluation so we have to pay more for the import we have if india is uh, in, if india adopts devaluation we need to pay f more for the import especially for the crude oil items we need to pay more and we uh, cannot remain we cannot sustain without importing that that kind of commodities and uh, so import will not fall immediately so import has to uh, fall uh, immediately in order to improve the trade balance immediately but this is not possible in the normal case and similarly at the same time export is supposed to be improved after devaluation but it will not happen immediately as it will take time in the short period of time the elasticity of import and export demand will be less there will be less elasticity of demand uh, for import and export both immediately after devaluation so in the long period of time the export demand and import demand elasticity will be greater and so at that time the devaluation will lead to increase in uh, export and fall in import so ultimately uh, the devaluation will bring the uh, success as it will improve the trade uh, balance only after a period of time so 
ജേ കർവ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഈ ഷോസ് ദ എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിവാലുവേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് കമ്പൈൻസ് ബോത്ത് ദ ഷോർട്ട് ടേം അൺഡിസൈറബിൾ റിസൾട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡിവാലുവേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലോങ് ടേം ഡിസൈറബിൾ റിസൾട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡിവാലുവേഷൻ സോ ബോ വൈൽ കമ്പൈനിങ് ദ ബോത്ത് ഷോർട്ട് ടേം ആൻഡ് ലോങ് ടേം എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിവാലുവേഷൻ ഓൺ ദ ട്രേഡ് ബാലൻസ് വി ക്യാൻ ഫോം എ ജെ കെർവ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ജെ ജെ ഷേപ്ഡ് കെർവ് വിച്ച് ഷോ വിച്ച് ഷോസ് ദി എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിവാലുവേഷൻ ഓൺ ദ ട്രേഡ് ബാലൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിവാലിയം കൺട്രി